I want to take a second to explain the LCD. So let's say we have one sixth and uh, one third. Oh, we're not going to add them. I'm just going to say we have these two fractions. The least common denominator is going to be the first number that both of these can go into or what we consider multiples of 6 and multiples of 3. So we can list them like this, 6, 12, 18, 24, and then we go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. You're going to see that there are some common multiples, 6, 6, 12, 12, 18, 18, but the smallest one is actually 6. So that's called the lowest, right? And they're in common, and they're in the denominator. So that's what it means to be the lowest common denominator. And so what we want to do is create that in each of those. So there are the first multiple that each 3 goes into and that 6 goes into. So 6 goes into 6, and 3 goes into 6. And it's the first one. So the 6 is already here. It has a 6. But the 3 is not a 6. So we create it, we make it a 6 by multiplying fractions um, in the numerator and denominator by a number that will make that a 6. And in this case, it's a 2. So in order to do that, you have to do it in the numerator and denominator because then the new fraction is 2 sixth. And 2 sixth is actually the same thing as 1 third because there's a 2 in there, right? It's been multiplied by 2. So it can be reduced back to the 1 third by dividing the 2 out of the 2 and dividing the 2 out of the 6. So that's what it means to find the LCD. Now we might check another one. 1 fourth and maybe 1 um, sixth. Okay. Now we can start listing them again. 4 8, 12, 16, 20, 6, 12, 18, we got 24, and so far I'm not getting out, well yeah I do, you know, and this one on the 4 people might think 24 because you multiply them together, 24 and 24, that is a common denominator but that's not the smallest, right? Because notice you just don't take 6 and 4 and multiply them, uh, 12 is actually the least common denominator because they both go into 12, right? So 4 goes into 12 and so does 6. Okay, then I can create that just by multiplying this one by a 3 and this one by a 2. 3 twelfths and 2 twelfths. Now you can compare them as well. You can see which one has more twelfths. But you always got to change the numerators as well. Because if you change the denominators only, then you're changing the fraction value and one-fourth is still three-twelfths is still the same as one-fourth. Now that's the listing strategy. Some of you might have seen um, another strategy to find it. For example, let's look at our same example one-fourth and one-sixth. Okay. To find the least common denominator there's actually an algorithm approach which may, means that you find the first multiple of four and six. And then you might have seen like you create a factor tree, which uh, what two numbers multiply to four, and it would be two and two, right? You don't use four and one, you use the, the prime factors, it's called the prime factorization tree. Then over here, what two numbers multiply to, pen isn't working for some reason. Okay, I should be back here. Well, two numbers multiply to 6, 2 and 3, right? Those are prime numbers that multiply to 6 and prime numbers that multiply to 2. Now, the algorithm goes like this. Look under the 4 and look for 2s. How many are there? There are two of them. Look under the 6 and look for 2s. How many are there? There are one of them. Now, where do you see the most 2s? Well, I see the most twos under the four. The most is under the four. So in my answer here, I'm going to include 
two twos. Two times two. I circle them because those are how many twos I'm going to use in my answer for the first multiple that four and six go into. Then I go to the next number that I have in my, my tree, which are threes. How many threes are there? One three under the six, no threes under the four. So I take the one three under the six and I include it in my multiplication down here. Now this number here is using the factors, the prime factors of four and the prime, prime factors of six to create the least common multiple or least common denominator. It's two times two which is four times three is twelve. So this is an algorithm that gives you that number by looking at what numbers you have down there. Let's do another one. Let's do a little bit tougher. One eighth and one forty four. Okay? Well obviously you're not going to sit there and list these out forever. It's going to take too long. But if you look at this and you look at what numbers multiply to eight? Two and four. What numbers multiply to two? Well, just two and one, so I leave it. What numbers multiply to four? Two and two. I've broken this down into the prime factors. The ends of the trees, the two times two times two equals eight now. Then I do that for 44. What two numbers multiply to 44? Four and 11. 11 doesn't break down, but four does into two and two. All right, so two times two is four times 11 is 44. Now I use my algorithm. I start with the lowest number, and you always only take the numbers at the ends of the branches. You don't use the fours. You don't use any of these things. How many twos are there? There's one, two, three here, and there's one, two here. The most that occurs though, the most number of twos occurring are two of, or excuse me, are three of them under the eight. So I take the most number that occurs under a single number, and then I move on to the next number. I don't use these twos over here. The next number is 11. I use that one 11 because it occurs once. And then that's it. If there were more numbers like 5 or 7 or 13, I would use those. But now this represents my least common multiple or least common denominator. 2 times 2 times 2 times 11. 88. So it looks like they both go into 88. This one would be 11 times to get to the 88. And this one would be two times to get to the 88, right? The reason why I don't need to include these other twos over here, these guys, is because it would be too much then. My 88 would be if I put another two out here like this. See? Now it's going to be, what, 176? It's going to be double that. That's too much. I don't need to use these other twos that are found in the 44. So if you were to list them out, 44, 88, and then go 8, 16, 24, etc., the first one you come to is 88. So this is why this works. So I hope that helps a little bit explain the LCD and how to find it.